train your brain. Building and sustaining cognitive skills can be as simple as trying a new and demanding hobby. Your brain has the ability to learn and grow as you get older, a process known as brain plasticity, but you must train it on a regular basis for it to do so. Your cognitive skills will diminish over time, making thinking and memory more difficult, so you'll need to build up your reserve, says Dr. John N. Morris, head of social and health policy research at Harvard's Institute for Aging Research. Embracing a new pastime that demands continuing practice and encourages you to think and learn can be one of the finest ways to keep your brain healthy. A Mental and Physical Contest Regular physical activity has been demonstrated to increase cognitive processes such as memory recall, problem-solving, concentration, and attention to detail, according to research. However, it's unclear if the physical sign of the activity stimulates your brain alone or if a mix of other factors, such as the activity's mental challenge, frequency, and desire to develop, also play a role. Take, for example, swimming. It has obvious cardiovascular and muscle building advantages, but it also needs constant thought, processing, and learning. You must be aware of your breathing pattern as well, as how to execute strokes and kicks correctly. You can also assess your swimming ability in terms of endurance and speed, which encourages you to improve your technique and become a better swimmer. It is not necessarily necessary for a brain training activity to be exercise related. Painting and other forms of art, playing an instrument, writing emotionally or autobiographically, and learning a language have all been shown to boost cognitive performance in studies. In a 2014 study published in Gerontologist, Researchers looked at 31 studies that looked at how these activities influenced older persons' mental abilities and discovered that they all enhanced numerous areas of memory, such as memorizing instructions and processing speed. Prepare your mind. These pointers can help you succeed in your new brain training endeavor, choose a new activity. To avoid being seduced by other interests, devote your time and attention to only one additional activity. Register for a class. Classes are an excellent method to acquire the fundamentals of any new activity, particularly one that necessitates specialized abilities, such as painting or music. Make time for practice. At start, don't worry about the amount of time you spend practicing, instead, aim for consistency. Devote as much time as you can, but stick to your commitment. Make a plan and stick to it. Do the right activity. According to Dr. Morris, no matter which new activity you choose, make sure it follows three rules in order to enhance brain training. Challenging. In order for your brain to grow, you must constantly push it. This is why taking up a new hobby is so good. It stimulates your mind to learn something new and allows you to progress. Not interested in taking on a new challenge? Raise the bar for an already popular activity. If you're a casual golfer, for example, set a goal to improve your skills and lower your handicap or shoot a certain score. You're not trying to learn something new, instead, you're trying to improve your skill set and knowledge, explains Dr. Morris. Complexity. A complex activity not only piques your interest, but it also requires your brain to engage in certain intellectual processes such as problem solving and creative thinking. In a 2013 study published in Psychological Science, older adults aged 60 to 90 who engaged in new and complex activities for an average of 16 hours per week for three months, such as digital photography or quilting, performed better on working and long-term memory tests than those who engaged in more familiar activities such as reading and crossword puzzles. Practice. Practice makes perfect, and the same is true for brain function. You can't increase your memory unless you work at it, Dr. Morris explains. The more time you spend utilizing your brain, the better off you will be. Your activity should necessitate some level of ongoing practice, but the goal should not be to achieve significant gains. It's the relentless repetition of working to better, not the drive for mastery, Dr. Morris explains.